Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, as some of you may be aware, we've done a couple of videos about the rare breed forced reset trigger. I'll put a couple of links for those down below. And that spurred a whole nother series of conversations and questions related to another type of trigger. And so I figured it'd be a good time for us to spend a few minutes today and talk about are binary triggers legal in Washington state? Okay, before we get rolling, you guys know the drill. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. If you want to stay up to date on issues related to your Second Amendment rights, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Click the little bell logo if you want to be notified when we post new videos. And most importantly, let's keep the comments and discussions coming. That's how we're going to make sure that we get our videos out to more lawful and responsible gun owners like yourself. Okay, so the topic for today's discussion is binary triggers. That is, are binary triggers legal in Washington state. Now, first we have to kind of understand exactly what is a binary trigger. Now, binary triggers like forced reset triggers are relatively new technology, relatively new developments in the firearm field, which allows a shooter to fire at a rate much faster than what could normally be done in full semi-automatic mode. A forced reset trigger does exactly what its name implies. It forces the trigger to reset itself, and it literally moves your finger forward as it resets. Therefore, if you maintain a constant pressure on the trigger, it will reset and your pressure will pull it again. Pull, fire, pull, fire, pull, fire is basically how it works. Force resets have built-in settings for a single shot and for bypassing the rapid fire process. And we have done videos on forced reset triggers and whether or not I believe that they are legal under Washington law. What we're going to spend time today, though, is talking about binary triggers. Well, and here's a diagram on how a binary trigger works. A binary trigger works by using the reset action to fire another round. What's that actually mean? When a regular trigger in a semi-automatic rifle resets, meaning it returns to the original position after you fire one round, the mechanism resets and is ready for the user to pull the trigger again to fire another round. A binary trigger, however, uses the reset spring action to actually strike another cartridge. Your finger pulls the trigger and the rifle fires a round, but when your finger lets off the trigger, the rifle fires another round. Pull, fire, release, fire. Pull, fire, release, fire. And so the topic for us today is, is does a trigger that fires around when we pull the trigger and then fires around when we release the trigger, does that comport with Washington law as it relates to automatic weapons? Now, for those of you who've been watching this channel, we all know that RCW 9.41.190 specifically prohibits certain firearms from anybody's possession in Washington state. Amongst them is machine guns, as it's referred to in Washington by the Washington legislature, or automatic weapons. Under RCW 9.41.190 subsection B, the statute tells us it is unlawful for any person to manufacture, own, buy, sell, loan, furnish, transport, or have in their possession or under their control any part designed and intended solely and exclusively for use in a machine gun, bump fire stock, undetectable firearm, short barreled shotgun or short barreled rifle, or in converting a weapon into a machine gun, short barreled shotgun or short barreled rifle. So RCW 9.41190 sub B tells us specifically that any firearm component which allows a firearm to go from a semi-automatic to a fully automatic firearm is in and of itself illegal. Okay, so how is machine gun then defined by Washington law? Well, for those of you who've been watching the channel, we know that RCW 9.41.010 is the definitional section of our firearms codes. In subsection 19, machine gun is specifically defined as machine gun means any firearm known as a machine gun, mechanical rifle, submachine gun, or any other mechanism or instrument not requiring that the trigger be pressed for each shot and having a reservoir clip, disc, drum, belt, or other separable mechanical device for storing, carrying, or supplying ammunition, which can be loaded into the firearm mechanism or instrument, and fired therefrom at a rate of five or more shots per second. And certainly when you are watching some of the videos as we have here on both the rare breed FRT as well as the binary triggers, we will see that the rate of fire is far 
more rapid than anything that we would normally see from a semi-automatic rifle. The problem for all of us here in Washington State, as I see it, is that subsection 19 of this statute specifically states Machine gun means any firearm known as a machine gun, mechanical rifle, submachine gun, or any other mechanism or instrument not requiring that the trigger be pressed for each shot. And therein lies the problem with the binary trigger, because we know with a binary trigger that we get a shot every time we press the trigger, we also get a shot every time we release the trigger. And that is contrary to the definition in RCW 9.41.010. Now, the difference between a binary trigger and a forced reset trigger is that the forced reset of that trigger actually forces the trigger forward. And if you're keeping your finger depressed on it, it would then cause you to press the trigger again. So under the rare breed FRT, you are actually getting a shot for every time you pull the trigger. It is just that the trigger and its use of spent energy allows you to press that at a rate far faster than you normally could. Binary triggers, on the other hand, you actually are getting two shots per each pull of the trigger because when you pull the trigger you get your first shot when you release the trigger to reset it you're getting a second shot and certainly with proper training you can get your uh, rate of fire at a rate far higher than what is restricted under rcw 9.41.010 now similar to the research I did on the rare breed frt I went online over the weekend and attempted to purchase binary triggers primarily from Franklin Armory. Franklin Armory, as you know, makes a series of these triggers. They're very highly rated. Uh, they're apparently excellent triggers. However, when I went to various websites to purchase this binary trigger, I was told time and time and time again that shipping was not available in Washington State. It is my belief that the Attorney General has notified Franklin Armory and anyone who's making binary triggers that because you can get more than one round discharge for each pull of the trigger, it does not comply with RCW 9.41.010. Therefore, it does not comply with RCW 9.41.190 subsection B and it is my opinion that binary triggers are currently unlawful in Washington state. Now as I did more and more research I did find some secondary purveyors who would be willing to ship binary triggers to Washington state but most of the websites I had listed numerous states in which the binary trigger could not be shipped to Washington was listed at all of them. It is my opinion at the current time that binary triggers under the current state of the law in Washington state are not lawful. Listen, you may have more questions about binary triggers or anything related to your Second Amendment rights. And if you do, don't ever hesitate to contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com. Or, of course, you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Now, remember, part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.